Hey, I'm Albert, Solution Engineer at BetterCloud, and today we'll go through setting up a Jira ITSM-based offboarding workflow. Without a SaaS management platform like BetterCloud, this process can be very manual and error-prone. You'll typically receive an offboarding request or home through every SaaS application the employee has access to in order to complete the offboarding. With BetterCloud, your common offboarding steps can be automated to save time and reduce the risk of missed steps. In this example, the same HR ticket submitted to IT can be used to trigger a better cloud workflow, which can handle the SaaS deprovisioning for you with our granular actions spread across multiple applications. Now we're in Jira ITSM. In order to set up sending a ticket to better cloud, we're gonna start within a Jira project. If you're testing this out, you can create a new Jira project for this purpose, but I'll use the one that I've been working with. Once in the project, We'll first need to set up a request type, which will be the ticket form that HR fills out. This will be in project settings at the bottom, followed by request type. We'll then hit create request type. We're gonna give it a name and description. I'm gonna call it offboarding for both. the type of issue that it is, the portal group, and then we'll get to the creation menu. Once in this page, once in this page, we're gonna include custom fields such as, but not limited to, first and last name of the user being offboarded, their email address, their email address, and your manager's email. After you're done here, hit Save Changes. With the request form done, we'll now go back to Project Settings. Back in Project Settings, the Automation menu is where we're actually going to send up setting the payload to Better Cloud once this form is filled out by someone. We're gonna hit create rule. And here, an issue created or ticket created is gonna be the trigger for setting it to better cloud. We can then scope this a little further. You can add new condition and an issue fields condition. is request. The field we're going to use is request type. Equals, and then we're going to look for the exact same request type that we just created earlier. In this case, offboarding. We're going to hit save. After that, we're going to hit new action. And here, we're going to type in send Awesome. Here, we're gonna to have to go back to Better Cloud in order to get the web request URL. Now, we're in Better Cloud. In this integration center menu, we're gonna open up the Jira ITS integration. And we're gonna to navigate towards setting up an extended trigger. We're gonna hit modify, extensions, and then add a new extension. We're gonna hit create a trigger for workflows. And then we're gonna give it a name and description. Now we have the URL that we wanna copy paste into Jira. We're gonna hit copy to clipboard and then navigate back to Jira. We're gonna put that in the web request URL, and then we're gonna set the web request body to issue data. 
we're going to hit save. Cool. Once that's saved, now we need to set up sending a test payload to Better Cloud. We're going to go to the ticket portal that contains the request form we made earlier. So now you see common request, that's where we put our ticket form. And offboarding, this is what we called it. So now we need to fill out the ticket form. I'm going to use myself as an example. We're going to hit send. Now we're going to go back to Better Cloud. Awesome. Now you see that the, the test payload is received, and we get to configure the workflow options. We are now in the workflow builder part, Better Cloud. You can get here by going to Workflows and then New in the left navigation. We're going to start by defining our when condition. It's going to be the offboarding Jira trigger that you just created. Clicking on it in the when section of the library will add it as your when condition. We're now going to need to define an if condition. We're going to use the org unit condition that we set earlier. You can set it to whatever org unit you want for your offboarding. You can call it offboarding. I do have a workflow already set up that has a string of then actions which will be your critical offboarding actions that you want for this workflow. Here you're going to see a very similar setup. I am using Jira ITSM. And then I have actions to actually act upon the user being offboarded. Things like signing them out in Google, resetting their password, transferring files from the user that's being offboarded to the manager that you're setting in the ticket. To illustrate how multi-SAS it is, I'm also disabling the user in Slack. Lastly, I am setting a wait for approval to the same manager before the account gets deleted as the final step. Once you save your workflow, we can now send another payload to Better Cloud, and this time it's going to actually trigger this entire workflow. Going back to your ticket portal, Go back to common requests, and I'm going to use the one tied to my example workflow. I'm going to fill out the summary and then the naming fields below. We're going to hit send. And now we're actually going to go back to Better Cloud. And we're going to go to the workflow activity feed. We're now in the workflow activity feed, and we can see that the Jira offboarding workflow has now shown up. Clicking on the workflow name, and then the instance can give you a bit more information. We're now seeing the full log of the workflow. We're seeing that the user was, that was targeted, the when condition, the if condition, and then the actions that were taken. So we can see that the user was signed out of all sessions in Google, and then their Google Drive files were transferred to their manager, who was set in the ticket. Next, their Slack user was disabled after that. And now the workflow is in a wait for approval state, where it needs to be approved before their Google user gets deleted.
That's it. We've now set up an offboarding workflow using Jira ITSM.